so he might be happy with that. Yeah, true. And Greg making his way to the stage. Greg, the Muay Thai fighter with 25 fights, who is new to the chess boxing world uh, and a very, very good athlete, very good striker. Uh, and he was glad up that against he threw his name in the in the in the ring. Definitely. Now he was up against Lara's um, uh, husband. So uh, that's right. In light. Yep. Yeah, it was light, and I think he he, he wants something maybe, you know, a tad bit more serious now. Always good to have the ref in your pocket. Little check when you come in. Uh, hey, the yeah, 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 yeah. I'll always obey your, your, your orders. Uh, of course I will. Oh, I just remembered my... Uh, I'll, be, I'll be right back. Sergey! <laughs> Sergey is back in the ring after yesterday's main event. That's, that's uh, well, courageous, to, to say the least. Um, for him, it was just another sparring session, apparently. My, uh, my tripod was recording our fight ringside, and it's been going this whole time. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's something you said reminded me. Sorry for sorry about that. All right, so uh, this is a Russia versus Canada final. Sergey uh, is back. Sergey is back, yes. Oh, this is going to be a great striking match. Sergey very, very clean with his defense. He was showboating in uh, chess boxing fit uh, in the semifinals. And uh, Greg, light, light, light. Chess boxing light. Yeah, chess boxing light in the yeah. semifinals. And, uh, and Greg was, um, it, well, let's just call it what it is. He was taking it easy on Laura's husband. That's definitely. So we don't <laughs> Just winning really, the round. Yeah. But, uh, mm -hmm. but he is uh, an experienced striker, and I'm very excited for this match. Well, this is where you see that you're experienced. When you're up against someone who's beginning and you manage to not, you know, to outboxing without actually hurting him. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, scoring the points without yeah. uh, doing any damage. And there's the bell. First round underway and right into it. Uh, busy, busy jab for Sergey. A good lead hook and pivot out to, so, uh, so far, more points scored by the Russian. And Greg's settling in, uh, starting to get a sense for this. Uh, you know, Muay Thai is different distancing, different timing. Um, so it doesn't translate perfectly to boxing. He may be getting a sense for... Uh, you know, Western boxing right right now against this very lanky, very long Russian. He'd be tough to deal with. Definitely. Um, it gives you that much more respect for Val, who beat Sergey last night in the 85-kilogram uh, final. Uh, but he is back and, and competing for a world championship now against a Canadian. Well, it was the only fault of his game was not giving Val any problems in the boxing because what happened was, um, he, although he was getting kind of badly beat, let's, be, uh, let's admit it, uh, when he um, went back to the chest, he was continuously applying pressure um, from, from the go and uh, he didn't back down. And Val had to continuously find resources, which is often much harder to do. That's true, and, and uh, he seems a lot more composed here, um, you know, against, uh, yeah, he has a helmet on, he, you know, against a not as experienced boxer, a good counter right landed by the Canadian there, though. Oh, uh, and a good exchange to finish the round. Uh, they did get a little carried away, ref stepping in to say take some power off, but uh, good exchanges there. Um, I would give this one to the Russian. I would, I would, um, yes. All right, uh, we are making our way from the boxing ring over to the chessboard. 90 seconds down, and, uh, and a Russian, uh, the Russian has one point up on the Canadian. And, uh, and Canada with the white, white pieces. We have Russia with the black. So I was very fortunate music, that... Music, music, um, yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Music, music. Thank you very much. 
Tisha, Tisha. Volfongo is okay. giving us out some multivitamin drinks. Tisha. So yeah, we were very fortunate really? earlier to um, get classical music uh, during um, our little bout there because uh, I was kind of worried that it was going to be heavy metal trash. Wait, uh, you had music? You didn't have music? I, had, I didn't have music. I had classical music. I had silence. That's that, well, that's I could, why I was doing the whole... Oh, uh, you know, I thought you were celebrating. I thought you were just being yourself. I, I, <laughs> I thought you might have thought I was being an arsehole, but okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't hear. Well, I mean, I didn't hear any music because I could hear everything in the room. I but mean, everything in the room. I didn't know if the music was in my earphones or if it was out in the room for everybody to hear. No, just in your ears. I think. Okay, well, yeah. maybe in my imagination. Maybe I've lost it. Maybe. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> it was that accidental uh, stiff jab? I, I let slip. Sorry about that. Uh, if if you can, if each time I get a stiff jab, I get classical music for half an hour. <laughs> I'm I'm buying it. You know, hire me as a musician. <laughs> <laughs> Follow you around. <laughs> to Toby uh, Toby White once said because um, I, I I told him, hang on, oh how does this joke go? Because it's good. I'll hang on. I'll think about it and I'll come back to it later. Okay, we'll, we'll assess this chest position while you uh, while you remember it. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a very advanced pawn on e5, uh, and we'll see how he supports that. Right now, the knight on f3 is protecting it. Um, this does. It's it's a kind of a weird combination that okay so okay wait uh, wait a minute this is the same structure that Ellis uses uh, who is also on the Canadian team so maybe it's something that they all prepared together this is what he used against me in with chess white? boxing fit with white yeah. yeah so it's well it's a French structure basically but the pawn on c4 uh, releases all the tension so that bishop on a7 that knight on c6 now they I mean either you're going to sack for basically not much or they're just sitting there. Um, so C, C5 to C4 is, I know it might seem natural, but it just is it's wrong. Well, Sergei has really gone wrong in this one. Not playing like against Val at all. Now White actually has a free attack on the king side. He can uh, probably himself sack a piece somewhere at some point. Mm. Like knight g4 now, then bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes, right? If you're still following, knight, king g8 and knight f6 check. The knights come off, the one comes in, and X marks the spot. There it is. We love X marks the spot. Checkmates, always uh, an echo from I am Casa Corley. Uh, Casa oversees the community for chess.com and was my co-host on the checkout show on Chess TV. That's Mondays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific, in case anyone wants to tune in and see some checkmates and some knockouts. That's what I cover on that show. Did you watch the, the Tyson Fury? Uh, in, in I Ghana. did. Mm -hmm. I what, did indeed. What, I didn't have time yet. I saw the Ooh, highlights. And Ganu is a freak of nature, man. He is a, he's a very, yeah. very talented combat sport athlete. Now, I, I, I do see uh, an argument for why Tyson won that match. I think he was a better boxer. Uh, but the knockdown oh. in the third round for Ngannou was I mean, devastating. It, it, it did kind of catch Fury on the back of the head. It wasn't a clean shot that put him down. Mm -hmm. It wasn't um, like with Wilder, like when right, he was out, yeah, you know, yeah, and then yeah, he came yeah. back from the dead or something. Yeah, yeah. Correct, but uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, Ngannou clearly knows how to box. His first combat sport was boxing before he transitioned to MMA, so I think he has a lot of muscle memory from that, and he's just a freak athlete too, really resilient like you. Uh, he's, he's gone been through a lot of adversity. He's, a, he's had a very storied life, and... Um, I'm excited to see whatever he does in the PFL and in, in pro boxing, wherever he goes, I'm watching. Yeah, because everybody was like very skeptical, like uh, of him being able to adapt. Right, it's true. We should go back to the chess boxing. Yeah, so uh, the the position on the board is uh, what it is, but we are back to the second round of boxing now. Uh, the first round going to the Russian. Uh, we'll see if the Canadian can, uh, now that he's, he's gotten a sense for how long the Russian is and how he moves, maybe he, he's able to steal this second round and uh, make it, oh, right off the bat, double jab cross lands. And Greg not, uh, not letting uh, the Russian dictate the pace this round, coming forward um, and maybe taking a page out of Valentine's, uh, Valentine's book. Um, he's, he's looking more like uh, the stance of, of Val from last night.
very long stance, long, bouncy, uh, wide arms, baiting shots down the middle so he can counter on the outside, using his reach. But there's no big power shots. Oh, uh, I, I was talking about uh, Sergei not throwing big power shots, so that did not contradict uh, my statement. Good jab to enter. Uh, would like to see more behind that jab because it did land, but uh, that's the only one scored in that exchange, and then a little he's, separation and back to it. He's definitely scoring points, though, and let's not forget this is light. So um, Yeah, scoring yeah. points. Oh, I was talking about power. Yeah, Another one. It's, it's, it's light, so... Ooh, nice. That, that's okay. Nice. All right. Yeah. So far, I give this to the Canadian. Definitely the busier, more aggressive fighter, and uh, in the in the exchanges, he's landing the majority of shots. Really, really well done. Coming forward the whole round. I think this is a draw on the boxing. I think uh, Canada gets this. Was that Greg? You kind of said it weird. I didn't really hear it. I, I didn't catch it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think that was Greg. So it's one boxing round and one boxing round? So it will be. <laughs> Have you eaten today? Nah. <laughs> no. I haven't since, since this Yeah, morning. my stomach was messed up this morning. <laughs> White move. I think we'll leave that story where it is. <laughs> <laughs> the subtext of that statement is so funny. Uh, all right, we're back to the chest. Let's focus on chess. Um, we have a high outpost on B3 that that knight is vying for to shut down the uh, current advantage that white enjoys with a rook on the B file. I'm, I'm gambling on knight G4. Did he? What's... What was that? Oh, he wants to move. Uh, uh -huh, and there's that high, high outpost. That's very well played. I, I wouldn't, honestly, I, it, it, it didn't even come to my mind, but what he's doing is pretty clear. He wants to stay on that diagonal. He needs a little bit more time, and knight b3 was coming. He couldn't off. He couldn't have stayed either on c1 or on d2. So he moved the bishop to f4 to liberate that square for the queen. And Clear now space. He, he still has that battery of... Um, of pieces. So for those new to chess, thinking moves ahead is key to, to being good at chess. What does my opponent want to do? And just like my analysis from a second ago, oh, it looks like that knight is looking at b3. Well, now if I'm white, I'm thinking, okay, if he's moving to b3, that's going to challenge my queen. Where do I want to put my queen when I get challenged? And because that square was occupied, Carl's point where he moved the bishop out of the way to clear a square for the queen, now we're thinking moves ahead. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And okay, so the knight was kind of protecting that um, entrance, you know, penetration from the rooks, the white rooks, into Black's camp. Um, obviously, it's an exchange is good to take, but I'm not sure that the rook was, you know, like Petrosian, you had guys like that. If they had a knight like that, they would have never taken the... Uh, the exchange back because oh. of position because it, it, what, what carl's referring to is each chess piece has a point value associated with it called material uh, a rook is, is generally considered to be worth five a knight worth three so you want to trade less points for more points that gives you uh, more of an advantage but in that position uh, someone like Petrosian would not have done that because it's such a good knight. That's like a six or a seven point knight because it is on a square that's very hard to move it from and it's controlling squares that are very annoying for white. I would say it's at least a five because it's at least a rook. The rook, the only way it could get its activity back is, let's say, by sacking and then there would have been a, a, a protected pass pawn. So that would have been a catastrophe. I think white got off slightly likely in that exchange, but what's the, 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 the main change in the position is that the, uh, the king side has been totally blocked and um, Sergei has defended extremely well in that respect and uh, much I, I think that and Greg has must, an incredible time advantage yeah, too he, this, is, uh, this, is, this is he's put on a clinic yeah, uh, on the chessboard yeah, I mean this yeah, is really yeah. well done by the Russian it's a shame because he really did have the opportunity there to um, uh, you know he, 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 it was there. The opportunity was wait, there. Wait, so. wait. It ends. Ah, it ends. It ends. The, ah, so it doesn't count. 
And they have one all? They, they so have it's one. I think they, it's just one more boxing round. So now... So whoever wins this boxing round, I think, wins the match. Isn't isn't this the point normally? They, they do heads or tails, and then, and then like, is it boxing or is it chess? Or is no, because it was a draw. It's one-to-one -one in the boxing. So they have a, 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 a tiebreaker oh. just in boxing, and that's who wins the match. Oh, that's only if it's, like, two this and This is going to be so uh -huh. exciting. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sorry, we're still learning chess boxing light. This is the first time that we've, we've ever seen it uh, in this world championship, so... Well, it's basically if chess. We think that's what's happening. <laughs> chess boxing, let's say, is a little bit complicated at first sight, right? So, we've invented something way more complicated. So, chess boxing, the normal one, the regular one, looks simple. Yeah, we're doing our best. <laughs> Long story short, uh, but let's see if the Canadian can do what he did in the last round, bringing the the fight to the Russian, or if the Russian can enjoy his long, lanky. Uh, control of distance like from the first round that he won I love how Dagus basically become Russian since starting the data <laughs> Russian well the thing is Sergei lives in Turkey that's right that's right he moved to Turkey recently okay good head movement to enter uh, this Russian doing a better job of keeping distance this time oh, good nice check hook <laughs> And pivot away, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the ref reminding, okay, take a little off. <laughs> Although I think you could let both of these guys bang and uh, chest boxing light. You know, it's not like either of them are inexperienced. Um, Definitely, but okay, it'd be it, fun. It, it mustn't mustn't you know spoil the spirit either of the um, the format. Of yeah, the format. Very nice combination there by the Canadian. I'm glad we didn't wear those helmets. Oh, yeah. That would have been I, I silly. Think, I think I would have a headache uh, at this point if we did. Because, you know, it's heavy and the head's well, going back. Well, it snaps your head back more. Yeah. It's like um, yeah, it's like having a bubble around your head. Yeah. Oh, good body shot. And then uh, right after the body shot coming upstairs, they are definitely throwing harder than light. But it looks like uh, the Latvian ref is letting them do it. But if they both agree to it and nobody's complaining, why not? I yeah, guess. That's true. Okay, big big lead hook. I, I, I mean, 10 seconds left. Uh, man, this one's really close. This might be a draw. Whoa, whoa. No, no, that is not, that's not on. That's not <laughs> they on. They just want to win, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, I mean, that's bound to happen. It's like a Zeit not in chess, right? I mean, you, you got pieces flying all over the board because... Uh, you don't have time to place them on the correct squares. So I was uh, really trying not to be embarrassed by you on the chessboard, and I was playing a little practice games before our match, and I got into one of those positions where I was low time. The other opponent was low time. We were moving super fast. Each had like four or five seconds left on the clock, and I was I was thinking the same thing. I was like, this is like at the end of a of a round where you're you're you need a knockout. Both <laughs> both people are trying to win the round. Because, uh, exactly, pieces are flying and time is of the essence. Wow, the Canadian takes it home. We saw a Canadian champion in chess boxing fit and now a, a Canadian champion in chess boxing light. Big props to Canada, oh Canada, our North American brothers uh, taking home another world championship title for another format.